when Ziggy the cat appeared at their door. He opened up Jake's very private world. At first, Jake's family thought they saved Ziggy, but his connection with Jake has been a lifesaver. For a love this strong, his family only feeds him Imes. Compared to other leading brands, it has 50% more animal protein to help keep Ziggy's body as strong as a love that reaches further than anyone's words. Iams, keep love strong. While Jody Arias says she killed Travis Alexander in self-defense, the prosecution says, uh-uh, this was premeditated murder. And the state says there's clear proof of that in the road trips that she took to Arizona. She took it back in 2008 after she and Travis Alexander had broken up. Now, our friends at HLNTV.com, they've made a timeline of that journey that began at Arias' home in Wairica, California. Between June 2nd and June 7th, 2008, Jody Arias took a nearly 3,000-mile road trip. And prosecutors say the evidence from that journey shows that Arias set out to kill Travis Alexander. Now, here's a closer look at the hours before and after the death of Travis Alexander. June 2nd, between 1 a.m. and 4.05 a.m., seven calls between Jody Arias and Travis Alexander. The longest call was 41 minutes, the shortest just 17 seconds. 8.04 a.m., Jody rents a car in Redding, California, about 100 miles from her home in Wairica. The rental agent says a blonde-haired Jody Arias asked for a white car so it wouldn't stand out. 7.32 p.m., after two more calls from Jody to Travis, she stops at a McDonald's in Lodi, California, orders fries and a bottle of water. Arias says she spent the night with friends in Monterey. She's now traveled about 400 miles. June 3rd, 10, 10 a.m., Arias makes three deposits to different bank accounts in Monterey. Between noon and two o'clock, she makes two quick calls to Alexander. Sometime during the day, Arias stops at her boyfriend's house in Monterey. Daryl Brewer testified that he gave her two gas cans because she said she needed them for a long trip. Between 8 and 9 p.m., Pasadena, California, Arias calls Alexander twice and makes two gas purchases at an Arco station. It's possible she filled up the rental car and the two gas cans. June 4th, the day Travis Alexander died. Jody Arias arrives in Mesa, Arizona after traveling 1,000 miles. Arias gets to Alexander's house at 4 a.m. and they go to bed. Alexander now has less than 14 hours to live. At 1 p.m., Arias says they woke up, had sex, and took nude photos of each other. 5.22 p.m., Arias begins taking a series of 19 pictures of Alexander in the shower. 5.30 p.m., Arias' camera captures the last picture of Travis Alexander alive. At 5.32 p.m., there is a picture of Alexander bleeding and on the ground. It's possible to see what looks like Arias' leg and foot. 11 p.m., Arias makes three brief calls to Travis Alexander's phone. She leaves a voicemail. June 5th, West Jordan, Utah. Arias arrives at former boyfriend Ryan Burns' home around 10 a.m. Her hair is dark brown and there are cuts and bandages on her fingers. On the way to a business meeting with Burns, police stop Arias' rental car because her license plate is upside down. Police give her a warning. After the meeting, Arias and Burns return to his home where they quote unquote make out. Arias leaves Burns' home after midnight. June 6th, Arias travels through Salt Lake City and into Nevada making more gas and food purchases. June 7th, Redding, California. She returns her rental car at 1.08 p.m. The rental car agent testified the car appeared to have Kool-Aid stains on the passenger seat and the floor mats were gone. In all, she traveled more than 2,800 miles. A month later, Jody Arias is arrested on July 15, 2008.